Hi friends, welcome back to another video here on the Sam Cooks Kindness YouTube channel. My name's Sam and I'm so happy that you are here. Today I am bringing you a recipe that is super weight loss friendly. It's a meal that I would enjoy on a regular basis and I think you are gonna really like it too. It is a sesame quinoa component bowl is what I'm gonna call it. But really it's just a bowl of easy to prep ingredients lots of uh, plant-based protein, and it's just super wholesome and delicious. And I'm very excited to share it with you because this is a meal that I would typically eat as a regular part of my routine. And it's super easy to make. You can have it done in 15 minutes, especially with a couple of time-saving hacks that I will share along the way. Let's just get into it. I'm very excited to share this recipe with you. But before we do, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you never miss another one. And as always, you can find this recipe and lots of others for free over on my blog, samcookskindness.com. So I will see you there. There are loads of vegetables in this recipe, but we are gonna start with our broccoli. So I recommend you buy your broccoli pre-chopped in florets if you have access to that. If you don't, buying it in crowns and taking some time to prep it when you buy it is what I do. So I buy broccoli crowns and I break them up once I get them home. I give them a quick rinse and I toss them in a bag or a container so that I can grab the florets right out of the fridge and pop them into my microwave steamer for a very quick and fresh side to a dish. So this is my Sistema microwave steamer. You've seen it in other videos. I use this thing religiously. This whole recipe that we're making today involves zero cooking. So we're gonna use our microwave today to warm things up and to cook things, and the microwave is our friend, so don't knock it. It's gonna be a good one. Um, so I'm going to steam that broccoli in the microwave for about five minutes and just keep it on the side, and as that's steaming, I'm going to be prepping our other ingredients. So I'm just taking a few minutes to grate up a carrot and to thinly slice some green onions and red cabbage. And honestly, if I wasn't making this to look nice for you guys, I would just throw the carrots and the cabbage right in my food processor to save time because I wouldn't really care as much about how it looks at the end. You could also save more time by buying a pre-made slaw mix from the grocery store. This is a time saver I use quite often. And that's about the extent for the prep for this. The base of our dish today is quinoa. And the reason why my quinoa is in such a huge bowl is because I cook this in the microwave. Did you know that you could cook quinoa in the microwave? This is a hack that I have just recently discovered and absolutely love. And I did share the instructions for this in a blog post. So you can check that out. I'll link it below for you. But it is such a time saver. And look how fluffy it is. Can you see how fluffy this still is? It's so fluffy. This cook took 10 minutes in the microwave and now I have extra quinoa for bowls for tomorrow. So I'm very excited for this hack. And that is what we're using to save even more time while we're making this recipe. You could also buy pre-made quinoa. Just check if you are avoiding oil. Some of them do come with oil, um, but quinoa can be bought pre-packaged for an even easier um, setup for this dish. So our vegetables are chopped, our chickpeas have been drained and rinsed. We have our quinoa, which I cooked in the microwave, and our broccoli in the steamer, ready for its lid and to be cooked. All this prep took maybe five minutes, if that, because of the time-saving hacks I took with the quinoa already being cooked and the broccoli already being chopped. So while we are steaming that broccoli, we are gonna mix up our sauce, which is what makes this dish extra delicious. To make this dressing, we're gonna grab a small bowl and add in some creamy tahini, tamari or soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, sriracha, if you like it a little spicy like I do, and miso. Then grab a whisk and just whisk it until it's nice and smooth. We're gonna add a few tablespoons of water to get this to the desired consistency. You want it to be kind of thick, but still pourable, so you can really get it all over your bowl at the end. The flavors in the sauce really pack a punch. So now that the broccoli was cooked in our steamer, we can build our bowl. You can warm your quinoa and your chickpeas if you choose to, or you can choose to eat them cold. We'll start building this bowl by putting down our quinoa and then piling everything else on top. So we've got our purple cabbage, we have our carrots going on there. 
Then we'll grab those chickpeas and put about half the can on one serving and the other half on the other. Then we're going to pile on that broccoli. Then grab those sliced green onions and sprinkle them on top. I love green onions, so I will go back and pile even more on my serving. We'll finish this dish off with that super flavorful sauce and a nice fresh squeeze of lime juice. We eat first with our eyes, so adding lots of color on there makes it super interesting and makes it an exciting meal for us to eat. It's not mixed up how I like it, but I'm going to give it a taste. Let's see. Get a little cabbage. Yeah. Mmm, okay. Mm hmm So this is going to be a super, super flavorful meal. I'm going to squeeze this lime all over the top of it. And honestly, I'm going to add even more vegetables onto this plate and just chop it all up and mix it all together with that dressing. And that's how I like to eat it all mixed up. It's very beautiful when you start it off, but my meals never end up that way. They're always mixed together and that's what makes them delicious. If you were to eat half of this recipe, even more veggies than pictured here and half of the sauce, it would only come out to about 590 calories according to my calculations in my fitness pal. That's a great range to be in for a hearty meal, especially if you're trying to lose weight between 500 and 600 calories a meal is usually the place you want to be. But loading up on those veggies, having those really wholesome, filling, fiber-filled, protein-filled starches, it's what's going to make you successful in the long run. But you also have to enjoy your food. Eating those veggies and having a really fulsome, hearty meal is super important, especially if you're trying to lose weight or just eat a wholesome diet. But it's got to taste good because what's the point if your food doesn't taste good? That sauce on there is what makes this dish so super flavorful. It is just creamy and spicy. You can leave out that sriracha if that's not your thing. But I like a little bit of spice and it's not overpowering. Um, and it's just so delicious. And that fresh lime on top really brings it all together and makes this a hearty and wholesome and just a delicious weeknight meal prep friendly, weight loss friendly meal. Let me know if you like this recipe, if you like the simple recipes, um, if it's helpful to you, if it gives you a little bit of inspiration, I want to know um, so I can do more of them if that's what you like. So leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.